All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Wondershare's DVD Slideshow Builder. It's a really cool program because you can get your favorite pictures and burn them into a DVD with very cool special effects. So let's go ahead and get started. This is what the program looks like here. I'm going to go ahead and post a link on the description of the video below uh, where you can download it for free. So you can uh, look at the free trial. I'm using the free trial right now. You can use it for seven days, I believe it was. So this is what it looks like. To get started, you go ahead and, uh, well, there's three tabs on the top, Organize, Personalize, and Create. First, you organize your pictures, and to get your pictures, go ahead and click on where it says Add Files down here, bottom left-hand corner. And here are the pictures. I'm just going to go ahead and choose just random ones. These are in, my, in a folder on the desktop. To navigate through your computer, just go ahead and uh, click here on the left. You can go to Pictures, Documents, or Desktop, wherever your pictures might be. Like I said, mine's are at the desktop, so let's go ahead and open them. I'm just going to choose some random ones from here. This is from a business that I uh, started in Mexico, a cyber cafe business. All right, once you select the ones you want, click on Open, and it's going to load them. All right, here they are. Now the next step is go ahead and click on Personalize on the tab on top. And it's automatically going to put these transitions for you. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. So it's playing right now, the slideshow. And see, those transitions are pre are pre-made into your uh, slideshow. And you can always go in there and change them. You can just click on one of these, hit the delete key on your keyboard, and then look in this list here, see which one you like. This one's pretty cool. You can go ahead and uh, click on it and then test it out. This is what it's going to look like now. It did like a cube, 3D cube. All right, so you can you can click on the motion tab here, and you can also do zooms, bottom to top, or just shows from the bottom to the top, from the top to bottom. I mean, of the picture, there's different ones: left to bottom, zoom out, or you could just say none if you don't want one. You can click on effect here, and you can actually put like a balloon, balloons going through the picture angels going through it, dandelions, circles, hearts, really cool stuff you can add to your pictures here. And you can go ahead and click on pre-audio. You could put thunder, thunder, river, a rooster. You could put clapping, for example, I'll add it to the slideshow, that way you can see it. So there should be clapping here. Really neat stuff. So you can do all kinds of stuff to your photos here. And once you're done editing, go ahead and click on the Create tab on top here. And this is where you can either uh, burn to a DVD, save to computer, save as HD, save to Apple, save to mobile device, and there's all of them there. Android, Nokia, Windows Mobile, Windows Phone, Sony, Sony Walkman, they have them all here. The iPad, the iPod, the iPhone, they have them all right here. And if you want to burn to a DVD, just select the first one. Now here, just go ahead and double click on, on the text. I'm just going to type in test just so you can see we can change it here so there you go test and you can edit this however you want you could pick different ones see there's a castle there now this is the menu for your DVD so you can just choose different ones from here they have this heart one wedding bride and groom, the wedding. So you can you can go ahead and make a menu, a DVD menu however you want it. Once you're ready to burn, you click on burn down here. 
or if you're ready to make it and save it to the computer just click here on the tab save to computer choose your format what I recommend you do is WMV that's the one that works the most once you click on it it's gonna tell you where you want to save it leave all this default that way you don't mess up the video where it says right here save to go ahead and click on the little folder button here and then select what folder you want to save it to let's say you want to save it to the desktop and click OK and just go, go ahead and click on save if you haven't uh, bought the program yet you're using the free trial this is gonna pop up just go ahead and click continue or buy now if you actually want to buy the, the program and we're just gonna name this test alright and it's creating the slideshow right now this is gonna take a while and it's gonna save it to the desktop so that's pretty much it that's how you use this program it's really really easy to use really fun and it's got a lot of options here once you're done with it you can burn to DVD save to your computer save it to your iPhone or your or your Android really cool program really like this one so hopefully I've helped you out if you didn't know how to use the program hopefully I've uh, this walkthrough has helped you out I give this program a good review thanks for watching and have a good rest of your day